right, so I've got a project I'm working on. Um, I really know little about this one. It's all I know is it's a zero turn. Uh, it's one of the Toro time cutter, the MX4200. Uh, it's right here at my feet. And uh, the guy dropped it off. He's been a, a long-term customer and uh, I've worked on a lot of his stuff and I don't think I've worked on this one before. Uh, I, I know he, I've seen it before. It's been on his trailer. Uh, he does, you know, commercial uh, yard work and and I've worked on, on a, a lot of his past stuff. I know he, and he just recently got uh, uh, a new zero turn. It might be one of the bad boy zero turns and uh and he's going to have this as a backup so he dropped it off saying hey just work on it it needs a little tinkering here and there just fix it up and uh and just get it ready to run right he's i, I and i haven't the only thing i've done is, is start it up and and got it back here into the uh in my backyard and and it ran you know it ran over here the only thing i could tell was the throttle was kind of stuck um but basically, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through um, off of some stuff that he said that it was doing. You know, something with the with the deck on one side. Sometimes it would slip or whatever. But but I'm just going to go through this whole thing and uh, and just get it back into uh, good running shape, right? And and given that it, he said it's going to be backup plus. Uh, it's the towards the end of the season anyway. Not quite in the season, but I mean, it's still hot over here. There's nothing growing anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to do all this in the mornings because it's, it's still going to be like 102 today, uh, which is kind of a break uh, compared to what it used to be, 106, 107, 109 one day. It's, it's been ridiculous, right? So, well, let's take a look at this. So, before we get started, remember to check out our website, hotshotpowerequipment.com. You can check out our products, including the lawnmower blade balancers and the uh, oil drain tubes. And some uh, pretty cool shirts there, too. So, let's get started. Yeah, so you see I've already got it up on the, on the lift, because uh, I wanted to look take a peek under the deck. Um, like I said, it rained great. I drove it right up. Uh, but one thing I noticed, it was uh, this throttle's kind of stuck. Um, so it's just running on high all the time. Um, and while it sat here, I, uh, he said the battery might be bad, but it took a charge. I mean, this is only, let's see, April 23, so it's a brand new battery. Um, and it took a charge and it held the charge. So I'm just wondering, did it, uh, was there something draining the battery? You know, I don't know. Uh, oh, what else? Yeah, he said something about on this side that sometimes, um, sometimes this one, oh shit, there's the problem right there. He was saying something on this side. Uh, the blade was just, uh, sometimes it would spin, sometimes it wouldn't. This side's fine, but, but you hear this rattling? The blade is just loose. He's lucky this thing didn't fly off. Um, so I'll take a look and see if that's the only problem or... Uh, why was it so loose? Oh, uh, what else? Yeah, I'm just going to go through through it all, give it a tune up. And uh but I guess the first thing I'm going to get this a little taller. Oh. All right, let's see if we can crawl under here. And I'll show you what's going on. Yeah, look how loose that is. I'll just get my impact socket. Well, I want to take a look at this. 
Um, all right, so so that's the one I have in my mobile uh, toolbox, and it has served me well. But check out this this other set. Yeah, check this set out from Vivor Impact Socket Set, and it is really really complete. I mean, this sucker. Yeah, that's about right. On on the shipping, it said it was 35 pounds. Yeah, that's 35 pounds of, of metal there. But check all that out. It's got millimeter, millimeters and standards. Um, it has the the short sockets, the deep sockets on on both the. Uh, on the universal and the I mean it's just a complete set I mean it's it's awesome all the way up to a one and a quarter or 24 millimeter here so it's got you covered all the way down to 10 millimeter or 3 eighths uh, then it has adapters here so if you're looking to uh, you know there's the half inch to a three quarter adapter and vice versa, the three eighths to a half inch. Um, and I just noticed that this uh, this wrench weighs a freaking ton. I mean, that's definitely a solid chunk of steel there. And hopefully, it's it's a you know good quality steel. And inside that too, so it'll be fun to test that sucker out. There's your extensions, extensions here, and look at that long one. And uh, then look, it has the the swivel there. Yeah, I mean, it's I was pretty pleased. Um, and one thing I'm going to measure off. Let me grab my tape measure. So I want to see if it's going to fit into there. Oh, that's going to be close. We're down to uh, 16 and 3 eighths. And that was what, 16 5 eighths when I measured it off? So we need to get it down to 16 and 3 eighths. And width wise, 22 and a quarter. So let's measure this off again. What did I say that was, what, 22 and a quarter? Well, that's got that covered. It's from here to here is what's going to make the difference. So if I go when I take that off, if I cut these hinges off, oh, that just gets it 16 and 3 eighths. So when I take the lid off, I need to uh, to cut these part of the hinges off. So if you're going to do this, make sure you're not going to need the case. I think it's going to fit in that drawer very nicely and stay organized. You know what I mean? Well, that's going to be cool. I think I'm going to do that. Well, cool. Well, this is uh, this is the set, and you see it's a Vivor. And you can find them on Amazon, of course. And I'll include a link there. But man, it is a full set of uh, impact sockets there. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm gonna cut it down to fit into that drawer. You know, I could I could take this and model up my own tray, um, but even then it'd have to be two separate trays. Uh, and since I'm not really gonna use this case, uh, it is a nice case to, to have if you're gonna be carrying this around, then, uh, then it's actually uh, pretty nice because it's, it's holding up 35 pounds, you know, but, uh, I'm going to cut this, size it down so it'll fit in my toolbox. 
All right, so let's crawl under here. that a 16 millimeter there's the lock washer but this washer looks like it has been it's very thin it looks like this sucker has just been uh, uh, just shaved down. I don't know if you can see that. You can see how thin that is. But isn't that something? I always thought the Toros had a star pattern, but uh, I guess I am mistaken. Let's see if we can. Uh... fix huh and while I'm in here I'm gonna look at everything the belt is good and tight it's not uh, there's no cracks it really looks pretty good yeah I'm kind of limited to my movements uh, when at all possible I need to have everything up on a lift or helping me lift something. I still have back problems and for a heads up, I'm gonna to try to get as many videos as I can. From this date, I have about six weeks, five to six weeks before I have to go to back surgery. So, <laughs> yes sir. But, I can still do some little stuff. But, uh, you can see, can you see this? The throttle just seems to be stuck. I believe this one's it right here. Yeah. So before I take the plate off, I am going to loosen up this end and make sure it's just adjusted properly. Okay. Looks like there's a couple of kinks here. You make sure it's just not getting squeezed shut. That seems about right, so let's take this cover off. There we go. Let me get a pick. And see if it's just something that's uh, I'm starting to work its way through. I, I just wanted to make sure I'm not going to break anything because it took quite a bit of pressure to get it to move. So I'm going to try to get all this crap out of here. Yeah, I can see it trying to move back here, so it's just bound up in this in this lever here. If I can, I think I need to take this off. I don't know if you can see that in there. It looks like there's a little stone or a rock or something. Alright, 
mucho better. Now let's uh, tighten this up here. So I had loosened this. So this is with the throttle all the way on. Let me tighten this back up in this position. All right, that's got it. Sound a little gritty. I was hoping this WD-40 would help flush it out. Almost finished with this. You can see I'm just giving it a tune-up now. And luckily this one, I love it when they have the hose like this where you can pull it out and just let it drain. Uh, other times you have to reach up underneath and it, it gets so messy you have to drain it down through the through the pan here. But uh, Whenever you can, in between changes, if you don't have one, now would be the perfect time to, to put one on. But these come in real handy, and you can see the way it just clips up. But other than that, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to change the spark plugs and, uh, and take a look at the air filter. So just to tune up, and it's going to be ready to go. All right, so before I crawl into there, so I put these, uh, uh, the releases on here. I pushed them in and locked them so they should be loose. But I'm gonna check, this is a common problem. <laughs> and a lot of guys either forget or they do not know that, let me show you. So you can see the, the switch is, is pushed in. Now this, it's in park, and to put it in neutral, you put the your bars inside. But the trick is with these, you have to have the key on. Now it's in neutral. So a lot of guys forget that. They forget that you have to have the key on and then put it in neutral or put it in park. Um, so now it is in neutral, we can cut that off and I'll bet, yeah, there you go. So it's easy to push. You just have to make sure you have the key on, the neutral, everything's in neutral. Now you can push it with ease. So, so there's really no problem. <laughs> well, that is it. There was really no major problem. I guess the, the worst problem was that, uh, that loose belt. I mean, it was really loose. Um, but I secured it, torqued it down. Hopefully it's going to, you know, hold on this time. Uh, the, the throttle cable, it was just full of dirt inside. And so, you know, I cleaned it out and throttles working fine and everything else it was just a uh, uh, a plain tune-up right I just changed the oil spark plugs filters fuel filter all that good stuff and it's ready uh, it's ready to sit for the off season for that matter uh, I know this is going to be his uh, his backup so it might sit for a little while but I I'll suggest for him to use it until the until it runs out of gas, that kind of thing, or just go ahead and empty it out. Uh, and he said he was having trouble with it, uh, you know, pushing it back and forth, uh, trying to get it in neutral. 
and I'll just remind him that he has to have the key on and then poof you can hear it <laughs> disengage uh, and he'll probably you know just oh yeah I forgot about that I mean he's had this for a while he's probably just forgot so other than that that is it so I guess as always thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video